Hello, and welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss our latest videos. Today, we're diving into a captivating topic that challenges our understanding of Earth's history and the potential existence of advanced civilizations before us. Have you ever wondered if there were technologically advanced societies before the dawn of humanity? The Silurian hypothesis poses this very question. Let's embark on this journey to unravel the mysteries of Earth's deep past. The Silurian hypothesis is a thought experiment that delves into the possibility of an industrial civilization existing on Earth before the emergence of humans. The name Silurian is borrowed from a fictional race of reptiles in the Doctor Who series, but the hypothesis itself is a serious scientific proposal. At its core, this hypothesis asks, what if, long before the rise of humans, another intelligent species achieved a high level of technological advancement, similar to or even surpassing our own? And if such a civilization did exist, what traces or evidence might they have left behind? The idea challenges our anthropocentric view of history and forces us to consider the vastness of geological time. While it might sound like the stuff of science fiction, the Silurian hypothesis is a tool for scientists to reflect on the impermanence of our own civilization and the potential limits of our archaeological methods. To truly grasp the implications of the Silurian hypothesis, we first need to understand the vastness of Earth's history. Our planet is approximately 4.5 billion years old, and the timeline of its existence is divided into various eons, eras, periods, epochs, and ages. This division is what we call the geological time scale. The Silurian period, from which the hypothesis takes its name, occurred around 443 to 416 million years ago, long before the dinosaurs, and even longer before the first humans. During this time, Earth underwent significant evolutionary and environmental changes. Coral reefs made their first appearance, and the planet experienced a rise in the diversity of marine life. Now, imagine if in one of these periods, or even earlier, an advanced civilization had risen and fallen. The sheer scale of time means that millions of years could separate us from them. Over such vast stretches, evidence of their existence could be hard to detect, eroded by time, geological processes, and natural events. Understanding the geological time scale is crucial because it provides context. It reminds us that Earth has been home to countless species, ecosystems, and potentially civilizations, long before we arrived on the scene. The question then becomes, how do we find evidence of these ancient inhabitants, especially if they were technologically advanced? The term Anthropocene is a proposed epoch that highlights the profound impact humans have had on Earth's geology and ecosystems. While not yet officially recognized as a distinct geological epoch, many scientists argue that the Anthropocene began when human activities started to have a significant global impact on Earth's climate and ecosystems. From the Industrial Revolution onwards, our species has left indelible marks on the planet. Deforestation, urbanization, pollution, and the emission of greenhouse gases have all contributed to a rapidly changing climate. We've also left behind layers of concrete, plastics, and other synthetic materials that will become part of the geological record. But what does this have to do with the Silurian hypothesis? The Anthropocene serves as a modern example of how an advanced civilization, in this case, humans, can leave lasting marks on the planet. If we can leave such a significant footprint in a relatively short time, it's conceivable that another advanced civilization could have done the same in the distant past. However, the Anthropocene also serves as a cautionary tale. It shows that while civilizations can rise to great heights and achieve technological wonders, they can also inadvertently harm the very planet that sustains them. The lessons we learn from our own impact on Earth might provide insights into what we should look for when searching for signs of ancient, advanced civilizations. The quest to uncover evidence of a pre-human advanced civilization is akin to searching for a needle in a cosmic haystack. Over the vast expanse of geological time, the Earth has undergone transformative changes, each layer of its history potentially burying secrets deeper and deeper. Erosion and tectonic activity play a significant role in this. The Earth doesn't stand still. Its mountains, oceans, and continents are in a state of perpetual motion and transformation. As they shift, any structures, artifacts, or remnants of past civilizations could be buried or obliterated. Then there's the matter of time's effect on materials. Organic substances, like wood or textiles, are fleeting in the grand timeline, succumbing to decay and leaving behind scant traces. Even what we consider durable today, such as stone or metal, isn't immune to the ravages of time. Imagine an iron structure standing tall, now fast forward a million years, and it's likely that rust and other natural processes would have caused it to disintegrate. Fossilization, while a fascinating window into the past, is not a guaranteed process. 
many organisms decay before they ever have a chance to be immortalized in stone. So, even if an advanced civilization did exist, the likelihood of its members or their creations becoming fossils is a rare event. Another intriguing challenge is our own cultural lens. We're conditioned to recognize signs of civilization that mirror our own understanding of technology and progress. But what if an ancient civilization had a completely different trajectory? Their technologies or materials might be so alien to us that we wouldn't even recognize them as signs of advanced life. Despite the daunting odds, the allure of the Silurian hypothesis remains. It beckons scientists to think innovatively, to seek out those subtle, often overlooked signs of civilization, be it through chemical anomalies in ancient rocks or peculiar shifts in the climate record. The journey might be challenging, but the potential rewards, unraveling a hidden chapter of Earth's history, are immeasurable. When we think of fossils, we often picture the skeletal remains of dinosaurs or the imprints of ancient plants. But there's another category of fossils that could be the key to understanding the presence of advanced civilizations, technofossils. These are the remnants of technology, the artifacts and byproducts of a civilization's existence. The term technofossil is relatively new, but the concept is profound. In our modern era, we produce countless items, from plastic bottles to microchips, that could potentially leave a lasting imprint on the geological record. These artifacts, if preserved, would serve as a testament to our existence millions of years from now. But how does this relate to the Silurian hypothesis? If a pre-human advanced civilization did exist, they too might have left behind technofossils. These wouldn't necessarily be smartphones or skyscrapers as we know them, but their own unique technological markers. Identifying these markers is where the challenge lies. The geological record is like a vast, layered book, with each stratum representing a chapter of Earth's history. By studying these layers, scientists can glean information about past climates, life forms, and events. Technofossils would be embedded within these layers, waiting to be discovered. But, given the vastness of time and the dynamic nature of our planet, many of these potential technofossils could be buried deep beneath the Earth's surface, or have been altered beyond recognition. For instance, consider the fate of our modern cities. Concrete structures, if left to the elements, would erode over time. Metals would corrode, and plastics, though durable, would undergo chemical changes. Over millions of years, these materials might transform into something unrecognizable, blending seamlessly with the surrounding rock or sediment. Yet, there's hope. Certain technofossils might have unique chemical or isotopic signatures that stand out from the natural background. For example, a sudden, unexplained concentration of a rare metal in a specific geological layer could hint at technological activity. Or the discovery of synthetic compounds, which don't form naturally, could be a clue. In the quest to validate the Silurian hypothesis, the hunt for technofossils is paramount. It's a search not just for objects, but for anomalies, those out-of-place markers that challenge our understanding of natural history and beckon us to look closer. The Silurian hypothesis, while speculative, serves as a thought experiment that pushes the boundaries of our understanding and prompts us to question the very nature of civilization and its potential impermanence. But why is this hypothesis so significant? Firstly, it challenges our anthropocentric view of the world. Humanity tends to see itself as the pinnacle of evolution, the only species capable of creating advanced civilizations. The Silurian hypothesis asks us to consider the possibility that we might not be the first, nor the last, to reach such heights. This perspective shift can be humbling, reminding us of our place in the vast tapestry of Earth's history. Additionally, the hypothesis underscores the importance of studying our planet's past. By understanding the geological and environmental markers of previous civilizations, we gain insights into our own impact on the planet. The Anthropocene, the proposed epoch denoting human influence on Earth's geology and ecosystems, becomes even more significant when viewed in the context of potential past epochs influenced by other advanced civilizations. Furthermore, the Silurian hypothesis has implications for our search for extraterrestrial life. If it's possible that an advanced civilization existed on Earth before us and left behind only subtle traces, then it's conceivable that other planets might hold similar cryptic evidence of past inhabitants. This idea could reshape our strategies in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, prompting us to look for not just active civilizations, but also the long-fated remnants of societies that once were. Lastly, the hypothesis serves as a poignant reminder of the transience of civilizations. If a technologically advanced society did exist before us and then vanished, it underscores the fragility of progress. It's a call to action, urging us to tread lightly on our planet, to learn from the past, and to work towards a sustainable future where the legacy of our civilization is one of harmony with the natural world, rather than domination. 
In essence, the Silurian hypothesis, whether proven or not, acts as a mirror, reflecting our hopes, fears, and curiosities about our place in the universe. It's a testament to the power of inquiry and the endless possibilities that arise when we dare to ask, what if? The Silurian hypothesis doesn't merely challenge our understanding of Earth's history. It also casts a new light on our quest to find life beyond our planet. If we entertain the idea that an advanced civilization might have once thrived on Earth, leaving behind only faint traces, it fundamentally reshapes our approach to the search for extraterrestrial intelligence SETI, and life elsewhere in the cosmos. Traditionally, our gaze into the vastness of space has been in search of biosignatures, evidence of biological activity like specific atmospheric gases produced by living organisms. But the Silurian hypothesis nudges us to also consider technosignatures, potential signs of technologically advanced civilizations. This could be anything from artificial structures on planetary surfaces to unique pollution signatures in alien atmospheres. This hypothesis also brings forth questions about the longevity of civilizations. If a technologically advanced society did exist on our planet and then vanished, it makes us wonder, are most advanced societies fleeting on the cosmic timeline? If that's the case, the window to catch another civilization at its zenith might be incredibly narrow. Instead, our efforts might be better directed at searching for remnants of extraterrestrial societies that once were. Our methods of probing Earth's past, like hunting for technofossils or identifying specific chemical markers, could be invaluable when studying other planets. Mars, with its layered geological tales, or the icy moons orbiting Jupiter and Saturn, might be prime candidates for such investigations. The Silurian hypothesis also pushes us to broaden our horizons. Beyond just scanning the skies for radio signals or pinpointing planets in the habitable zone, we might start to consider more unconventional signs, like megastructures around distant stars or anomalies in planetary atmospheres hinting at industrial activity. Ultimately, the complexities of this quest underscore the need for collaboration across disciplines. Geologists, archaeologists, astrobiologists, and astronomers might find their efforts are most fruitful when combined, each contributing their expertise to unravel the vast mysteries of the universe. The Silurian hypothesis serves as a poignant reminder of the universe's vastness, age, and the endless possibilities it holds. As we continue our cosmic journey, this hypothesis encourages us to delve deeper, challenge our preconceptions, and embrace the thrill of exploration. The Silurian hypothesis, while speculative, offers a profound reflection on our place in the vast tapestry of Earth's history. It reminds us of the impermanence of civilizations and the fleeting nature of our existence on a geological scale. As we stand on the cusp of a new era, marked by rapid technological advancements and the challenges of a changing climate, this hypothesis prompts us to ponder our legacy and the traces we'll leave behind. It's a humbling thought that, in the distant future, another species might look back and try to decipher our existence, just as we now ponder the mysteries of the Silurian era. The layers of rock beneath our feet hold tales of epochs gone by, and our current chapter is but a brief moment in Earth's grand narrative. Moreover, the Silurian hypothesis underscores the importance of interdisciplinary research. By bridging the gap between geology, archaeology, and astrobiology, we can gain a more holistic understanding of our world and the universe beyond. It encourages us to look at the bigger picture, to question our assumptions, and to remain ever curious. In our quest for knowledge, whether it's understanding our planet's past or searching for life in the cosmos, it's essential to approach with an open mind. The universe is vast, filled with mysteries waiting to be unraveled. And as we continue to explore, we're reminded of the wonders of discovery and the infinite possibilities that lie ahead. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time and space. If you found this exploration intriguing, please consider subscribing, liking, and activating the notification bell for more insightful content. Until then, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep learning.